Let's have a quick look. I've taken these uh, bolts out. I've let it dry because I didn't want a bunch of water getting in there. Oh, boys. Relatively clean there. The gears look kind of nice. Look at that. Spins nice and smooth. I don't know if you can see that. I'm probably in the way. Up top here, anyway, I don't see any uh, busted gears or anything. I'm kind of fascinated by gear reductions and, uh, you know, transmission of power across uh, axial loads. A little fascinating topic for me. Even that being the case, I'm not an expert at gearboxes or transmissions, but uh, yeah, still something that, uh, that I find fascinating. There's still some oil down there, which I'll just leave in. I'll just keep everything lubed up. I might have some heavyweight oil for the Merc. Maybe I won't tighten these bolts down solid. I'll, I'll hand tight them like they were, and then uh, if someone wants to come and see it, we can easily yank that off and they can have a look inside. I'm telling it as is anyway. But. Alright, I've got a nut here that's right fucked. Probably not close enough to see it, but uh, these are the studs that hold the intake and exhaust manifold on. I got all the other ones off, even the back ones, but uh, I even, well you probably would have seen in the time lapse, but maybe you didn't know what I was doing, but there's a couple more like that, but I hammered on the uh, undersized socket. In fact, an undersized metric socket I hammered on that worked for all of them. But uh, this sucker, if I'm going to, I'm just going to try and cut it off. I'd love to leave the stud, but uh, we'll see. Unfortunately, my Dremel doesn't have a remote. Uh, chummy, but, or a whatever, a flexible hose. Now hopefully there's not too much gas around here. I did take the carburetor off. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to get in there, really. Might be able to just cut the side of the bolt right off and then we'll see what to do with it.
think my disc is worn down a little bit there, Vice. I'm going to go get another one down once it cools down. And yeah, no, I've cut the shit out of this, so I think I could chisel that or hit it right, hit it right with a hammer. <sighs> I don't know where the fuck my chisel is. I didn't find a chisel, but I did find a punch. I don't know if this is going to help me at all. Oh, ho, ho, boys. Now she's turning. You know, really, I needed a torch in this uh, case, but the only torch I have is one of those crazy self-contained benzo things, and I didn't want to use it up, but... Uh, I do ultimately need a torch, because if I had have heated that up, it probably would have uh, broke itself anyway. Loose. And I didn't completely destroy the stud, so it will help me to get it out. Coming out. God damn, yo. That was a mother, motherfucker. So, gonna have at least one thread repair. A couple of the other ones came out with the nuts, so. Anyway, that's the, uh, it's the leftover. And of course, these are very common uh, little triangular chummies for uh, holding down the two flanges. All right, finally got all the manifold bolts out. Took a while for a couple of them. But now what we're gonna do is lift both manifolds off. I honestly don't know where I'm gonna put them. So we'll find a place. Now that it'll be open, I'm gonna have to wrap the sucker up a lot tighter than I have. But let's just see what's inside. I haven't had any of these off on my other uh, cars, but I suspect this will not be the last time. Well, in an effort to lighten this up, we're just about down to the block. Um, this goddamn thing, you know, the uh, the bell housing I'm still wrestling with, but I thought, oh, there we go. There's a broken bastard, kind of like what I've got on the, um, on the red uh, 66. Uh, the only broken one, though. So I guess we'll be doing two repairs, that one and this one. At least I'll be able to get something on that one heated up. Let's take it out. Now I have to admit, after a uh, bunch of that work, I'm uh, built up a huge case of the pains. Probably Wayne and Dad call me a pussy for uh, only putting three or four hours into this fucking thing, but I don't know, it's a fun project. I, I, I've never uh, completely disassembled an engine by myself before, or seen it done and participated in certain ones, but not like this. See how it's like exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust intake intake exhaust so um yeah the interleaving looks like a menorah but the interleaving um 
manifolds. Manifolds don't look broke or cracked in any way, which is really good. And uh, pretty impressed. Um, buddy, previous buddy wasn't running a uh, thermostat, so it's pretty chalky in there. Uh, that may not be the reason, but um, yeah, the inside of the housing is uh, pretty shitty looking, but not rusty per se, but orange. But this will uh, at least make it easier to get around with, like I say, a couple of young lads maybe, and a couple of old farts. See what will happen, but essentially, I think I'm uh, done for the day. I'm going to upload the video, I'll put something together, and then uh, come out here and clean up. So take care all, excellent to talk to you, and uh, hopefully, I don't know, hopefully you're enjoying uh, the inside of Slant 6. Bye.